Hello and welcome back to another Gas Walkthrough. Today we're looking at June 9th, 2024's first scene, Odd or Even by Clover. My name is Bill Murphy and it is once again a pleasure to be solving uh, this puzzle for you. Uh, I'm one of our setters here at Gas HQ, so is Clover, so is Philip Newman. Uh, we make genuinely approachable variant Sudoku for the general public, free of charge, but we do have Patreons if you want to join us. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. You can give this puzzle a go. Again, like I said, it's free. You really won't get a better deal than free. Uh, if you don't like the puzzle, it's fine. There'll be a new one tomorrow, but this one's pretty good. Uh, so you will find the link to this in the description. You will also find hat times. Two hats is for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time and everyone gets a consolation dinosaur because we love you all equally um yeah that's about it shall we get into it i think we should uh so this is first scene odd or even by clover uh so normal sudoku rules apply each box each row and each column must have the digits one to nine once each now we have some clues outside of the grid. Uh, the clues outside of the grid tell us the first scene odd or even digit from that uh, from that direction. So this could be three because we have a three there, but this could also be two, and that could be three because that would still be the first odd digit scene from that direction. That's it. That's all you need to know. Um, I'm going to be pretty quick with explaining this because uh, I'm tr I'll be honest, I'm trying to go on holiday. Um, I'm trying to enjoy my uh, king's birthday uh, weekend, despite the fact, you know, uh, screw the colonizer energy, but like, you know, I'll take a day off wherever I can get it. Um, don't forget, give this puzzle a go, but if you just want to watch me solve it, I'm about to get into it. Let's do it. So, uh, because... Clover, Clover's very clever. Clover's really clever. Um, she's come up with a fantastic way to uh, set this puzzle up. So I'm going to jump into it. Um, so five here means that I have to put a two somewhere. Now, if I put it after the eight, two is no longer the first scene, odd or even. So two must go there. Similarly, four needs to go before the six. Uh, four needs to go before the six here. You might notice the theme very quickly. Uh, six needs to go before the four, and two needs to go before the eight. And six needs to go before the four, and eight needs to go before the two. Ta-da! Now, uh, because we've placed four even digits in uh, each box of one, three, seven, and nine. Every single one of these digits that I'm currently highlighting must be odd. So when I have a cell, uh, cell that comes down, uh, saying that the first scene odd is three, well, that must be three. That must be one. This must be five. This must be three. This must be one. This must be seven. And this is five and then seven. Uh, Yes, we can then just resolve the pairs. So this is nine, seven, uh, nine, three, three, and nine. Now, this is, uh, so we've also placed four, uh, four evens in these spaces. So in each column one, column nine, row one, and row nine. That means that every single one of these cells must be odd. So because these must be odd, we know that uh, this must be three and three, and this must be seven and seven, because that has to be the first odd digit. And if it's not, how else do I put any other odd digit in there? Let's do a little bit of Sudoku now. Oh, I, or, or, or. Um, actually, seven, nine, uh, nine and seven, uh, three and nine. Now, this is the next really, really cool part. This is two and four, but this has to be the first scene. Uh, four has to be the first scene even digit, and two has to be the first scene even digit from up here, meaning this has to be odd and this has to be odd. The only thing, and this has to be odd, and that has to be odd. The only things that fill those gaps are five and one, one and five. Uh, now, 
we can do a bit of Sudoku to clean this up. That's four and eight. Uh, six and eight. Uh, two and four. Six, two, eight and six. Only one digit left to place in each of these rows. That's six. Uh, now, this is seven and nine, but we can resolve that because we've got the seven. And this is three and nine. We have the three in column four, so we can fix that up too. Uh, now, this is mostly just clean up now. So this is five, and this is a six, eight pair. Uh, one, two, four, clean up the two, clean up the four. Uh, one, five, nine, well, we have two nines in box, uh, pointing at box five, telling us where they go in column five or box five, however you want to look at it. Uh, one, two, and four left to place in row five. This is one and two, so this must be four, meaning this has to be four. Uh, one, two, and six left to place. I know that there's one more clue that I'm not paying attention to. Uh, oh, fine, I'll pay attention to it now. You are so nicely. Um, can that be eight? The answer is no, because that would come after a two and a four. So this is six, this is eight. One, two, six. Uh, one and two, one, five, and just finishing it off. Eight and five. This has been Best Seen Order Even by Clover. My name's still Bill Murphy, uh, and wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you next time. Cheers.